Hi everyone, welcome to the session where I will show you how to transform from the linear regression to the logistic regression. In my prior video, I have I have already explained uh, like the reason why a simple linear regression cannot be used for the classification problems and also applying regression on a classification problem will have the following errors. Okay, like binary data does not have a normal distribution, which is a condition needed for most other type of regression. Again, the the predicted value of the dependent variable can go beyond 0 and 1 which is again the rule of probability and again the outliers and the imbalanced data set will have impact on the linear regression product prediction and the also the the u shapes uh, where probability is very high or very low at the extreme end now this is the problem which i have shown you i will use the same problem and i'll proceed further what did i explain we, these are my points and this is this blue line is my line of best fit this is my first line suppose okay and this again if we have some more outliers this is my second line which is my second line of best fit second and this is my third line and this is my fourth line of best fit now if you see here in my y axis which is my 0.5 the value 0 0.5 which will correspond to my x axis with every iteration it is moving ahead and which is not which will not classify properly so in order to handle this we will come up with a situation where we will use something called the sigmoid curve this curve what we have used here is a sigmoid curve and the uh, the equation for the sigmoid curve is y is equal to 1 by e to the power minus x e is nothing but a euler's number which is nothing but 2.7 1828 okay and this uh, uh, sigmoid curve is uh, uh, it works at the back end of the logistic regression if you see here when we predict for a value which is around 80 it is going and touching my model and from the model it will touch the y-axis at somewhere in 1.9 and similarly for the value of some at around 58 kgs or eight pounds it is touching my y-axis at minus 0 0.2 which is against the rules of probability my in my probability my values can be between only 0 and 1 we will move to a logistic regression and where my y value will be between 0 and whatever is my outlier is still my predicted value will be between 0 and 1 and the range in case of this the range of y will be between 0 and 1 and the range of x will be between minus infinity to plus infinity see it is not touching the y axis here it is going asymptotically it will go and go it will go on and on and similarly here also it will not touch it will go but it will never touch my uh, y is equals 1 and it will go till infinity and here also it will never touch y is equals to 0 suppose this is my this is my first curve this is my first model if i am going to convert this into the logistic so how it will my equation my curve will be somewhere around it will come here like this and then here it will go it will not touch uh, x is equal to 0 and it will be like similarly for the second uh, when we have more outliers this is my curve and it is not touching x is equal to 1, it will be something like this and it will pass through x is equal to uh, the play point where x value of y is 0 0.5 similarly for the third curve it will be like this and for this fourth uh, model it will be somewhat like this the value here the value here is nothing but every time when we when our model is changed our slope and coefficient will also change our this value y and coefficient will change which in turn it will be used in the logistic regression it's equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 plus e to the power minus of mx plus c we will be used here in case of the uh, mo if we have more than two uh, more than one variable multivariate uh, logistic regression is there it will be uh, y is equal to 1 plus e to the power uh, b0 plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus the dot dot b and x n. that's how it works so i'm i'm sure you have understood first we have targeted uh, like we have uh, overcome the error which we are facing in case of linear regression when it is going beyond the boundary of 0 and 1 we have handled this and also the 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 outlier issue how we will handle i'll show you through my python code so let's start till here i have shown you in my uh, in my last video if you have not watched my last video please watch it's there in the playlist i will share with this video okay so in my previous video what i have done i have created uh, this uh, x a and y a and i have plot this these are my plotting of my variables and then i have created the linear regression model and then i have plotted this value and then for the uh, logistic uh, for this point my value this is my green line is nothing my my line of best fit and then what we were doing we were printing the value of where it will correspond to the threshold value for what value i'll get a threshold value okay so here suppose for 65 what is my value 
for 65 it is 0.19 for 69 what is the value so for 69 is the threshold value where it is 0 0.5 so beyond uh, 69 you are uh, the person is obese and below uh, 69 the person is non obese now after that what we did we were trying to uh, add two outliers and then we were creating a linear model and then we were again plotting that variable so because of this outlier the uh, line has itself uh, adjusted to the points similarly we were doing this well after this what i will show you now through a few line of code we will create our pandas we will create a pandas data set and we'll all add all the variables whatever we have added and then i'll show you how it corresponds this is nothing but i am creating one variable where lr underscore uh, underscore new dot predict value it will be present in that this uh, when i will create my pandas then everything will be crystal clear so this is also done now what i will do i will create a import pandas and numpy okay okay so what we have done here we have imported the pandas numpy and also we have uh, we are creating a data set uh, data frame df and then we are adding three columns my x value my y value and my uh, predicted values for this x and y so this is my df right so what is the value of df which we have created just now this is uh, okay this so we have these three values we can see the predicted values we have negative values for 62 and we have positive values as well so there we have total uh, 20 rows in our data set now after this what we'll do we'll create one more data set df1 and then in df1 we'll add the new points x a x underscore new and y underscore new these are the new point which has two uh, two extra points so because of this only i have created this value so we'll put it here and then we'll give equals to this so we'll execute these four lines now my df1 is also created so what's the value of df1 we have 22 rows in this okay this is nothing but the prediction of the linear regression after adding the two outliers before this what we'll do we will concat okay these two data set whatever we have created will concat df underscore is equal to pd dot concat will give uh, what are my two dfs df and df1 and we'll give uh, axis is equal to one vertically we are uh, like horizontally one after the other okay so x is equal to one now if we look at this df underscore concat so these are the values so you can see here for when we have this value here right so 50 is corresponding to the x value of 69 but when we have added the outlier 50 where it is corresponding 50 is corresponding to the value of 79.1 now when we create logistic regression what will be the scenario there so my logistic regression is created after this uh, i will create a model of logistic regression we will have created my logistic regression and then we will uh, train it with my new value new set of files right so x underscore train and we will train it okay this it is fit okay uh, i have already fit with my with my new set of values which can includes my outlier after that what i will do i will create uh, i will get a prediction then we'll uh, okay this is done then we will add these columns okay in my df concat which we have created the data frame so this is equals to this and also one more thing i want to show you predict proba okay uh, when we say that uh, why so this this is my uh, output now what is my model name my model name is log logistic regression right so there is will be something called predict proba this predict proba will uh, the probability of that ha happening okay whether i am obese or not i am not obese so this will be 99 percent correct okay and this will be uh point this will be uh point zero zero two six percentage correct so first column will say probably for uh, for the negative case and the second column is probably for the positive case so i will add this also y underscore new underscore so we have got this now uh, again in my df concat i will add okay if you can see here my first uh, my first row this will give me give, give me, me uh, this column of my predict proba, proba okay and the second row will give me by the second column of the predict proba okay so if you'll execute this this is done okay if you can see here this the predict proba which is the case of the zero okay for whether it is obese or not in case of not obese it will be ca captured in this column and the value for the class one will be captured in this column uh, this 
okay and in the last column we are getting the value whether uh, whether it is basically the prediction obese or not yes or no true false zero or one so that's how what we have got there so what we will do here i'll show you now here now is the time when we will find out the outliers impact using a linear regression and also the outliers impact using logistic regression so when we use the linear regression initially without any outliers our uh, value the 50 percent from y was fine and it was corresponding to the value 69 right now if you see here the moment we have added outliers then my value here changed right this value here so it was corresponding to 79 this 79 is my new threshold value so if you see here this is it's a real big problem if you are classifying someone obese or not in because of the outliers the person like later on he may suffer the moment then we are using logistic regression in case of logistic regression my value is not changed it still remains my threshold value is between this so this is my fifth 50 will be somewhere around here and this is my it is coming correctly here right so this is and this value will be the value of x value is 68.5 so it is not changing much it still remaining the same and it is predicting pretty nicely so this is how so there's not much difference between 68.5 and 68.9 so this is same because here it is 50 uh, 58 so it might get a, a bit less so but still it is doing much better job than uh, linear regression so that's how you can see uh, you can use python and even i have given the visualization how we can uh, use uh, logistic regression and avoid the loopholes of linear regression if we are applying for the classification problem so before winding up i want to say that when we say the lean uh, logistic regression right the equation here why will we take only this equation why not 1 plus e to the power minus x square why not any other equation so there is a reason why we will use only y is equal to 1 plus e to the power minus x for logistic regression and there is a derivation which i will be coming up in my next video but before that derivation i will I'll, we will play with the logs of odd and all those things okay then only the, the derivation of this uh, logistic regression will make sense so thanks a lot for watching the session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And also please share with your friend uh, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.